Welcome to our ongoing series of videos on loads. Chapter 2. We to do some ample calculation the load on costs from loads. Or it's occupancy loads a load of structure. The flow that we're looking at is P equals case P is area. Or it's force is equal to the area distributed force times the area. So we're looking at a very build that has a floor of slab on and an elevator floor of the compound irrigated hill and contacting. The frame for the floor and the rows do below. In case of a foot column facing both directions. So each of the calls the column. Uh, this a bag beam, this is a joist. All of these interior all of these interiors are just or times called area beam. Here we have the perimeter interior perimeter. We have three kinds of columns that we to account. This is an interior column, this is a column the print wall, this is a column and support parts of the so we've done so with this here is we have set out an influence areas that are associated beams. For example, joist. Or such a flow five feet full length of the beam. Use the flood W equals S to calculate the load per unit just that member. By the same formula, this parameter is set. I'd cast the space S for the floor supported at 50 feet, and for the interior, at a foot wash of support of this. We can use this concept of in this area to determine the load will exist in the column. For example, this column is half to the next column, direction half from the next one in this direction. So, in other words, it is 30. By the longer and this batch of four is associated with that column is seen feet by team. On the hand interior, excuse me, column, the per wall, not corner, so it's half to the next column in that section and half to the next column in this section. So it works area 30 to one in this section. In the other direction, it's half to the column, which is 50 feet. So the area by the column is seen by feet. The area supported by the column perimeter 15 by 30. Finally, if we go interior, it supports way to the column, way to that. Way to one and way to one. So, in other words, supporting area of is 30 by feet. In other words, 900 square feet. The stated column and 100 feet of. So, to size the column, the size of the worst situation, the lower the column, which is carrying the roof of the floor above. So, we work this form force equal to time area, or in this area is area distributed for. Let's first go. So, example, in talking, the area distributed loads associated with load was take 20 per square. Um, and by steel cushion, the typically in the neighbor 10 pounds per foot, but count for actual fuel loads. We're all take it as pounds per foot. Uh, area distributed roof, I believe, which is people off doing this work, is to be 20 per square. The air distributed lower load with the, with the deck, 50 pounds per foot, and then taking the air distributed lower load as a hunts per square. And we're going to calculate loads on the table columns. This one center is supporting the largest lower air, in this case 30 by feet. So look at the key to back force interior, and when I simulate me, uh, we were down, down through the thing, and we've worse condition column, which is between the ground and the, um, the elevated floor. Uh, the portion of the column is hanging 100 feet of roof, 100 feet floor. We say dead from f is low base pits of the A-force, but all came forth. This is an area of the dead of the roof. Uh, time, the area supported by the area supported by the column, 9 square feet, and the low roof that we're doing to is 20 square feet. Multiple any time hundred feet square cancel or left it's a pass. So we get eighteen thousand pounds. We can convert hips case eighteen. So the torso column from five low roof equal the distribute five low roof to area supported. The distribute five low twenty per square area supported by column at nine hundred feet. And then we mold these out square so out really with eight thousand pounds, which in kit. Dropping down to the floor four dead low floor into the distribute of the floor. Which is case dead from four times they're being so by the column. We've taken the of the slab the fifty thousand square foot, it was nine square feet floor support this column. When we multiply fifty times in order, we get eight four thousand hundred and the feet cancel for the feet. We're left and it's a pass. We couldn't to kill it four and point one kill. Finally we get P the four the load floor is up P was the area distributed live on the floor is the area support. The area distributed live has been dated for the tick line problem two hundred pounds square. Area of support area of supported by column is 100 feet. 100 to 9,000 the feet of cancel were left pound or it's nine. Now, I want to know the cumulative total actor axis the column designates upper key to eight the force and we total actor and could say in column in the Porsche column a the load for the load of the which point to dead load roof which is in kip plus the um lag of points times. The load from which is hips. It's the dead load loader. Point is the load of the floor. Plus the load actor in six times the load from four handicap. 
when we run numbers get rid of it kips. Once a number like it's amazing how we can design this fact column because in the case deal there are column we assume that Zeus sold that say Zeus has a col column for it. So example table shows a flange shape and by this is a generic shape it be as wide as it is deep, which is out to base W n by nine of okay, nine, which make pretty good balance. Um, we would normally use so the narrow range like as a column be more than to use a beam, but we should too live this shape. As for the tire action here, uh, 40 to the left and to the right and up the column central square. So the thing is, this table percent. First of all, W n means wide range for the, uh, 10 is the nominal 10 inch deep for the and 49 is the per foot weight per in pounds foot. So a 10 by 9 is 10 deep from there, and it was 49 pounds foot. And they're in from here, like talking about uh, stuff uh, of the kit wearing and stress. And when we get to four, talk about all that means. Um, the table gives design, strength, axe, and pressure. So, previous we figured out that we were going to this axial pressure and 150 kip. Now, column length depends on the length of the third is more and it is buckle. So, you'll see in the table there is a length and effect length heat here. So, the six foot column being foot 16. Now, in the table is design, strength, axial cushion, kiss. So, this number example, say you wanted to design a 16 foot top column to this that morse. So come down 16 and we kind of cry and we say, well, this, this can do 290. This one only is 246. And so we went to go to the head of the, which is one, at a WN by 40. So as far as that, because Infirm has been really careful and thorough document, we put in a form of the DTs we called a disable. In very shorter, we calculate loads on the column and do the annual size. Um, there are a lot of others that we use, but um, other than get to the end, of this, I just wanted to show example. You would understand how these calculations are part of a process of seeing the mess in a shirt. Okay. Now, the old four column in the echo wall will be the ag force interior column. Just look interior column. Uh, see, air of floor divided by column in the interior wall is half of the air floor being divided by interior. Or, P total vector column exterior wall is going to equal to the ag force fact for the interior divide 2. In other words, 250 kips of is 20 steps. So, we design that column in the interior wall. To be safe carrying 26 kilo seal cushion. Similar reasoning, seal four corner column be one row of the four interior since the F floor by the column quarter area of be ordered by interior. Therefore, total for the act force E for a column which we have designed will be in core total for load interior or no inner fit chips over with C3. So this column will be fair light. The we have to be able to care about it often include some element in the facade that a uh, trim or lap force in the building. You need to sort of the corner columns are just head loaded on the effect overning load. So six kips is gravity is the load and an occupant load uh, is not the story. We cover the corner columns are often more loaded at least in terms of effect. And so that includes our uh, distinct axial forces E columns, which is determined by making distributed forces in my entire area. Uh, in order to do the two four.